Now it's been a long time coming. I've made you guys wait over a week for the series, but... Move back a little bit. Un Whoa. Falling to the chair. Welcome, new viewers. Welcome everyone else back from before. As we begin, right here on FIFA 22 Career Mode, the Barcelona Rebuild. And yes, this will be the moment an intro comes in, but I don't have one for this series. Won't bore you with that. Welcome, people, to... Yes, like I just said, it's a Barcelona Rebuild here in FIFA 22. Latest squads are downloaded. The kit was ordered. It's a little bit of an old one, but it's come straight from the Barcelona shop itself. We have made our manager, we are going to jump into this today, and we are going to be attempting to try and revive the sleeping giants. Barcelona are your Europa League side in real life at the moment, that can't be happening in this save. Of course we will start them there, we've got to rebuild, we've got to get the new players playing that of course been signed to play Xavi Ball, but it's not Xavi Ball on here. It's Waddle Stenton Ball. And like I previously said, I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. I've only just got a voice to record this video. But welcome back to the MWS channel. If you are new around here for this series, I know it's very early on. But please do consider dropping the subscribe button a click and making that red one turn grey I think it goes with a notification bone as well we're trying to get to 5k subscribers and we need all the help we can get same thing can be said for Barcelona as here we go we're going to advance we're going to go authentic club maybe a creator club series comes very soon who knows as we're going to skip straight over to Spain and we're going to go to my by far favorite team in Spain we've got 111 million to spend straight away this isn't a rebuild like Hartlepool like Grimsby Town like Paris FC we've got money we can do this although there's a lot of critical expectations of us we can give the club money. A very disappointing thing about career mode though is that El Liberator, I think it's called, is Camp Nou because there is no Camp Nou in game. So I've made some little modifications, no lines on the field, but we do have the checkered nets to start us off with. And as you can see here, change has been made to the Champions League group. I've put Celtic where we are. Very, 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 very lucky if they get out of that group. And Betis are in this competition, of course, but I am going to swap Betis out, unfortunately. They're going to make room for us in, of course, the Europa League, because we're being realistic. Everything else seems to be in order. I'm always going with Sterling, because the manager is English. Apologies if you guys don't like that decision, but there we are. Waddleston with the number one Barca kit. If you cannot tell, I am very, very hyped for this series already, as we've got the South America Cup. We've got market information, we've got a meet as team, we've got inductions, we've got everything to go through. And if you haven't watched one of my career modes before, you might find that I try to be as realistic as possible. And that includes sticking to the board objectives to keep the confidence rating in myself as a manager up. As the youth development, they want us to sign at least three younger players, it's very high. And long term within two players have a... Um, Grown into the first team over the players that are actually in it, playing 30%. Signed two young players, 10 games without defeating home matches. I think that's possible. As Continental, they want us winning the Europa League. That is a realistic aim, which is still difficult in itself, as in Season 1, of course. Your Champions League, we should be getting into this year. Copa Espana reached the final within two seasons, win La Liga. So they are being a bit... Reluctive on that. They know the strength of the other two teams. Atletico and Real, the Madrid sides, as within two seasons increased the club's worth by 15%. I think that may be pretty difficult when you're Barcelona. As look at the academy as well. We've already got one big name. Daniel Gill. 68 rated at 17 year old. That is our wonder player. But we're not going to promote him just yet. We've got a lot of youth players in this squad already. From what I see in real life. I want to give them a shot. So for now, those players stay in the academy as I've bought two five-star and one four-star, five-star uh, scouts. So we've already took a loss on his money a little bit. But I don't care about that because we should have a good squad as it already is. And here it is. I mean, rating-wise, probably not the greatest. But we've got a lot of young players here that we can use. A lot of potential in the squad. And of course, we're not where we want to be. That is to come. And it does look a squad that I'm going to very much enjoy coaching. Of course, there's work to be done. 
I don't know why Depay should be our winger. Maybe that's the position we look at, but then Ferran Torres, Adama Traore, them two have just come to the club. I want to give them a chance. I'm not going to immediately sell Usman Dembele. Going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but still be cautious as Dani Alves is 38. He's just come back, so we're not going to sell him straight away. Sergio Roberto at right back desk. So many options and so many young players, but then we've got this line of players. Braithwaite and Titi Langley. Don't know what to do with them. In terms of loan listing, I've gone ahead and done that to all the players that you guys probably would deem necessary, and I do as well. The likes of Balde, maybe, Ilias Elazui, these players with no faces, Sans, Comas, and Jutla. Pronunciation's going to be a bad thing for me in this save, but I've gone ahead and done it as the position it looks like we really need. Although we've got Depay and Aubameyang, is maybe a striker. Braithwaite and De Jong don't think are going to cut edge at Barcelona if we're going to try and build for Europa League um, win, of course. And, I mean, we've got plenty of right-backs. They're just not shining through in potential yet. Roberto and Dest, I feel like it's almost there, but just not. PK should be leaving the club, of course, soon as well with his age, but I don't know what to do as we've got two offers straight away, both for Jordi Alaba. I mean, we do have Balde who could go into his spot, but Jordi Alba, a player I'm a fan of, will not be leaving the club. As Napoli, the first game up in pre-season, if you don't know how it works with games around here as well, pre-season, all simulated with quick sims as well. We play five games an episode, two quick sim, three in-game, but not for the starting one, of course, so we'll quick simulate this one, see how it goes, and we are beaten in our first game as Barcelona manager, by Napoli, two goals to one. Romani and Insigne with Aubameyang only with a consolation. Rather disappointed with that one, so I feel like the next thing we can do is just switch the team around as already youth reports coming through. You can see I'm putting them out there. And changing the team up, of course, for the next game, giving some players that might not even be here a chance, of course, De Jong, uh, Ferran Torres, I mean, he should be here, Ansu Fati up front as well. That's all quick sim against Arby Brangantino, the Red Bull club now in Brazil, as it's only a 1-1 draw. Melvin Pereira with Luke Dion getting ours. Another disappointing result. Not having a good pre-season here, but we have only just got in charge. It's going to be a rebuild as Abzel Ahmad El Azuli has a loan offer from Valencia, but it's a loan to buy, so I'm going to delegate that. Try and just make it a normal loan. He looks as if he's got significant potential, as this next team does as well. I just need to make one more change. Depay back on the wing. Want to use Depay a lot in this save. I just feel like he's grown to be maybe a Barcelona man. As we've got a transfer offer from Sevilla, though, for Clement Lenglet. We do have a lot of centre-backs at the club. And without confronting you guys about it, I feel like this could be the first outgoing, but it's got to be for more. Manager's appearance does look a lot older in the face, of course, with them wrinkle marks in this save. But that's what Barcelona's going to do to you. <laughs> Going to Spain as well as the Englishman has done. Max Waddleston and Lopetegu really keen on getting Lengley. It's going to cost you money. 23 million ain't bad, but I'm still going to try and get higher. 27 plus a 4% release clause. 23 if we can settle on 25 i feel like that's decent money for the frenchman and we're gonna get it I ahead and changed it again so uh Lenglet isn't in the next team instead it's gerard pk and if you are wondering about the shirts i buy i never get names on the back of my shirts but if you can see this without the headset absolutely ripping me off hope hopefully you saw that i can't tell by the camera but yes, Gerard Piquet is on my back. He's my captain for this save until, of course, he retires at 34 year old. And yeah, he, he's my favourite Barcelona player, if you're wondering. Never was Messi, always Gerard Piquet, defender at heart. As Lazio, the last team in pre-season, we get a win. Radu with theirs, but Memphis completes a brace and a comeback. And it is about him seeing games out a little bit because he's always tired that I'm finding after these games now as the players without a face I think I'm just going to let go out on a loan to buy because they are all over 20 year old potentials lacking slightly on them and Roma finally up in this preseason as we're in his third kit absolutely brilliant and I say finally no it's the semi-finals we can get to the final and we do on penalties of course we missed quite a few as well Dani Alves and Ferran 
as in the game it was Farron who got a goal, Memphis as well, Afenia and Maitland-Niles for Jose Mourinho's men. As I've got to say, we've done a lot better than expected in the pre-season right here. We've got to the final, even though we did of course fail to win two games as Barcelona manager, I'm very happy with this. As we've got 110 in the bank, has Langley left the club? I still haven't seen him leave the reserves yet. He's still here. And a loan offer for Oscar Mingueza, the centre-back from AC Milan. Now, that's actually not too bad, you know. But is he going to get the game time? I don't really think so. In a controversial move, I'm going to reject it. And maybe if a lower club comes in, who I know is going to play week in, week out for, maybe one in La Liga right here, I'd accept it. Just don't see him getting past Kaya and Tamori as... Napoli in the final. We've got a slightly tired team, but I'm going to play what I think my strongest 11 is, and we win pre-season. Trophy number one in the belt, as Politano scored. Memphis and Ferran got the winner to beat the team that beat us first. Absolutely buzzing with the progress in pre-season now. Of course, we've got our youth players game time. We've got the squad up to scratch. Couldn't have asked for any more. Or could I, because we've got a lot of money to spend. Maybe I could ask for more squad players. Of course, go out and sign someone as El Azui rejected Valencia. Now, I just want him on a normal loan, so we'll try River Plate this time. And, of course, I want to ask more in the league, as the league is right here. I just want to see the graphics again. It's been a while it's since Ibar, who, unfortunately, in real life, have been relegated, relegated? relegated from La Liga to La Liga 1-2-3. And it's heartbreaking to see the team do that, but... We've got Barca here. Hopefully, the curse that hits me with teams doesn't happen here. To save with Ibar, to save with my home club, Grimsby. And, of course, they haven't really worked out as I'm still looking at more players. There's Mingueza. Benfica's a better one. There's Otamendi and Vertonghen. But I feel like he could push one of them old players out. So, I'm going to delegate. Normal loan. Hopefully, Oscar goes out. And it seems like the loan deal could be happening, so that's good. As Elazawi as well to River Plate. Gavi now's got one, just a normal one, to Leicester City. The 16-year-old could get game time next to Undidi and Madison and Tielemans and be decent. And even though he isn't on the loan list, I'm definitely going to let him go because potential's everything. As I'm going to try and make a signing right here as well, we need one signing at least in episode number one. There's a lot of promising players right here. And you might say I'm going for the least promising, but he's a player that I just have a feeling has that Barcelona click about him. Just a cam for Barcelona who could be really good. The let go of Xavi Simmons to PSG, this guy could be a big deal as well. Hannibal Medjbri, but just goes by Hannibal at Manchester United. Of course, he is very young and I'm going to try and sign him. For very cheap, but I feel like could be a big explosive player once he grows. 1.65 million is all the one. And Ralph Ragnarik looks like he's open to selling him. So, Prospect, will he take that? He most certainly will. Do want to get him out on loan, I feel like. Maybe this month if it lets me. Or the next month as a three-year contract. He wants a 6 million release clause, which I'll accept, but definitely can change. As then the wage. Hmm. Let's try what he's on now. Or give him a thousand extra a week if he accepts that. And he does. Hannibal is the first signing of this Barcelona rebuild. And he, of course, is one of those two young players that we needed to sign. But, of course, we need two. So, let's have a look at these guys. Mateus Arezo and Ivan Azon from Zaragoza and Granada. One looks like, of course, you Barca fans out there, maybe, thinking Luis Suarez. And one just looking like a Spanish beast. And because I'm in Spain, I'm kind of going for the latter. Ivan Azos with a smaller release clause as well. And he's only one rating less. He's taller. He's got that strong header ability, which is very, very nice. And I feel like he is a replacement for Braithwaite and De Jong. And could be a pack-up striker already. And we are going to pay his release clause of four and a bit million. Because we've got the money. And of course, I know we do have the likes of Jill in the academy, but I just feel like we need one more. So, Prospect, he will take it. No in-game face, which is rather disappointing, but still don't care. Maybe this guy could get a loan deal this season, as I keep going to reject release clauses, but I forget. It's just ob obligatory, if that's even a word in Spain. It's just the norm, as we'll sign him for 5.7k a week. 
and we have our two young players already. Extremely happy with those two additions as we are approaching the first game of the season. Can we try and win it and do we play it straight away? I think we've got time. Although we do still have loan deals coming in and one from Lazio for Ricky Puig. I feel like we've got plenty of midfielders, so yeah. No experience can hurt these boys, as Balde, I think that's another one we accept because Dest, Roberto and Alves, I know all our right backs, and of course we've got Alba, but one of those right backs surely can fill in at left back if, of course, Alba is injured. So I am over the moon with these players going out. Puig, Gavit and Minguesa all going to grow, and then Balde hopefully to Celta Vigo, who are in our league, so he's still getting the league action. As who do we play first? I haven't checked and it's actually the real life fixtures, isn't it? Yes. Real Sociedad at Camp Nou. We're still getting loan offers in for Ezaluzi as well. This time from the Prem, Palace. And a two-year one for Nico Gonzalez from Verona. But I'm only going to go short term for him because we've lost quite a few midfielders as it is already. Maybe Hannibal makes a step up straight away as we've got youth academy things. We sent one to Argentina, of course. We want a new Messi. And another buy option for Jordi Alaba. He's very much in demand, but I'm going to reject it. As Gonzalez, I did agree a year for. And Azon, we got a loan offer from Bologna, which is perfect. As the graphics have changed going into this. Azon and Gonzalez out on loan as PSG. Wanting Ronald Arujo for a lot of money as well. Not a half bad bid, but... I've never used this guy on FIFA before, and he is our starting centre-back. I don't want to change the squad completely up in episode number one of season number one. So, yeah, I'm on, I want to keep it a little bit strong. And Hannibal has got a loan offer from AZ Alkamar, which I'm going to accept. At first, they'll put a loan to buy in. We've just bought the guy, as it looks like he won't be moving anywhere anyway. AZ Alkamar pulling out of the race as we... Pull into the first game of the season. Here we go. We've got to get our team right. And it's quite short now with reserves leaving, of course, and everything. We are quite short on... Well, we're very short on midfielders. I did not realise we'd got rid of that many already. Okay, it looks like Hannibal's on the bench already. Do I regret doing it? No, I, I think we'll be good. I have an idea for another midfield signing as well. So I think we'll be perfect. And it's not a youth signing. It's an actual big one, which if none of you guys suggest better ones, I will be signing next episode probably as the team to start La Liga off for us. Chosen by myself, can change in the future, of course. To Stegen in goal, Danny Alves is going to start. There was no point in him coming back if he didn't. And he can play centre mid as well. With Araujo at the side of him, PK and Jordi Alba, with Busquets, De Jong and Pedri in the midfield. Haven't said much about him, but I want him to be a club legend. Next, Iniesta with Torres, Aubameyang and Memphis Depay, preferred on the left wing to up front, of course. Bench is De Jong, meh. Fati, Traore, Hannibal, Garcia, Roberto and Neto, so the likes of Dest. Dembele, Braithwaite, um, Titi Lenglet, who's somehow still here, not making it into the squad. Let's see how we do up first against Sociedad. And I've missed these graphics. Been a long time since I've seen these. I do need to change the stadium name as well, as um, to Stegen's the TFO up. And if you listen very, very closely, although I've got it turned down, we're in Spain, we've got Spanish commentary. I didn't do very, very well in... Spanish in school. I think I got a B. I still don't understand it. As let's have a look at this Sociedad team that travel. Romero is in goal. Okay, they've got Monreal, Lenormand, Zulbadia, and Gorasaibel at the back. Uh, Marino, Silva, and Ilya Mendy through the midfield with Oyarzabal, Slawloth, and Christian Porto up front in a three. Copying our formation already. Not an easy team to play against by any means necessary. And I haven't played the game in a while. No excuses here. We want to be off to a winning start in the Liga. I mean, it's given us two years to win the title. But there is usually just a three-horse race. Sevilla and maybe Valencia from time to time try and dip in there. But I feel like we should be challenging straight away. If not winning it. Let's just, let's just be optimistic from the get-go. As Christian Porto running round... Gerard Piquet right here, who knocks to the ground, gets knocked to the ground. 
And a free kick for Sociedad early on. We've got a mark up, please. Everyone on their men. Ferran Torres away at the front post. Zulbadia, not good. Memphis Depay, apparently the player to watch as they're going to get the ball again. Trying to go slightly forwards. Round the corner into Christian Porto. PK's come across. Alaba has stayed in the middle. Iliana Mendy with a 1-2. Cross into the box. To Stegen can't catch it. Now, he's gone down ratings, of course, in this FIFA, so I am going to keep a little bit suspicious of him as Danny Alves threw onto Frankie de Jong. This is a good passing move. Got a run on this wing, you know. Ferran Torres is going to try and cut back a little bit here. We haven't got much pace, and that was a terrible ball. Danny Alves ne never made the run around. That's what I was kind of waiting on us. Here is Alexander Slaloff. And Real Sociedad are in the lead at Camp Nou in the first game of the season. The Crystal Palace, I don't want to be harsh, but say Reject, has just scored at the near post against Ter Stegen. Now, Marc-Andre, you've got to be doing a lot better than that. He just falls backwards. That is one of the worst goalkeeping errors I think I've seen on FIFA. And it's come in the first game in charge of Barcelona. Oh dear, not a good start to our reign here. Very, very poor as Frankie de Jong straight away on the ball. Round the corner, Sergio Roberto. Now Pedri can't even get that pass through. What is going on with us, boys? Got a Sabel down the line looking for another run. It has been mostly Sociedad and they do deserve their lead. And so we need to start threatening their goal a little bit. Pierre Emic, Aubameyang not in the game much at all as Memphis Depay. Can't get the pass around. And a quick story on Depay. Uh, not Depay. Aubameyang in career mode. I've done I've done Arsenal. I've done football manager saves with Aubameyang a lot. And I never agree with him. I'm hoping to hear. But he's not proven it so far. As it's off the post from Slawloff again. From what I've seen, it should be 2-0 them. As this team feels very, very slow and sluggish. We've got to wake up as Busquets into Pedri. I thought he'd be quicker with his feet. Into Memphis to Pie cuts around the corner. Pedri tried to fit it through, but Zulbadia, the captain, coming out with a tackle. Now Porto against PK. At least my man's doing the business. Turn out PK into Pedri. Now forward to Memphis to Pie. Obamiang tries to cut back and put it through that gap. Just can't find it, but the ball does fall back. Depay, Pedri. Oh dear. Approaching half time, and it looks like no fresh ideas. Not even a shot in this first half as Pedri. Does turn right here. Can we maybe get one off? Frankie de Jong saved by Romero. That's more like it, though. At least we're getting an actual shot at their goal as a corner ball. I see PK in that box. I'd love it if he scored. It doesn't fall to him, though. It falls instead to Danny Alves. Please be on side, Ferran. He is with a good whipped ball into Depay, who's absolutely flattened. Busquets won it. I think Depay was offside. And at half time, in the first game right here, we are 1 0 down. Now, I don't think I make any rash changes, but one thing I think we do lack is maybe pace. So we have Fatty and Triore, of course. The pace merchant, a midfielder, a right back if we need some more delivery from Dani Alves' side. But for now, this team's got us in the problem. They're going to get us out, hopefully. Hasn't been a very venomous game. No shots really from either side apart from the goal. And the post hit. Can't forget about that. They've hit the post as well. But very lucky. Slawloth just seems to be absolutely dominating all our players right here. And I do not understand it. As a Yazabal with a slight run down this line. Trying to get across and stopping him. Let's try and kick off in this second half shall we. As oh my days. So Stegen pulls out a good save there. Because Slawloth almost made it too. What should have been three if he didn't hit the post. There's Adrian Yanazai coming on only to strengthen them. I think it's about time we made a change as well. Ferran Torres is the one who's going to depart. It's not been too bad, but Adame Traore's turn to come on. As Sociedad charging forward with the ball right here. They've got past Dani Alves. PK coming across. We've got a man in the middle, though, who's looking like he's injured. It looks like Busquets in the first game as well. Alaba not with a... Good clearance right there, but we have managed to get it away. I'm trying to get Ansu Fati on as well, as this is Busquets. Still all right to run, but not get past the man right there. Zulbadia with it through the middle. Marino whipping it over the top, trying to go over Alaba. Blocked Memphis to Pai into Frankie de Jong. Still going to try and get forward a little bit. Ferran with an overlap. Dani Alves still doing that. And can we make a move of it here? If we're going to get a win, 
A goal needs to come quick to try and put us on level terms. Memphis Depay still has the ball. And I think it was handball, but that is harsh. It looks like we might have built something there as both wingers now on. Adama Traore and, of course, Ansu Fati as Adama straight on the ball. That's a good cut inside from Adama Traore. I thought it was going all the way. Of course, his shooting isn't the best, but maybe just one too many touches right there. Promising stuff, though. As the final sub's been made, Dani Alves off for Sergio Roberto as here is Ansu Fati running. Gives it into Aubameyang. I want to get Adama Traore in the ball a bit more. He seemed very, very quick to it. But Nacho Monreal, he's still doing his business after the Arsenal days here at Sociedad. As Slaloff into Miguel Marino. Very good midfielder. Surprised he was on the bench, I think, to start off with. As Yanazai tries to cut inside a little bit there into Slaloff. Could they even grab a second right here? It's to Marino and it's 2-0 to Sociedad. We are going to get beaten in our first league game at Camp Nou in charge of Barcelona. An ex-Real Madrid man with the goal. Not the way I envisaged this going. A really poor start, I must say. Not a good game from us at all. And we've been made to pay the price right here. Straight at Ter Stegen again. Am I going to question having that man in goal for me in this career? He's not proven worthy enough. As now we just search for a consolation. Frankie de Jong running through the middle. onto to Ansu Fati. Terrible touch from the winger. And the first game of the season comes to an end. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But it looks like we haven't even set off yet. A 2-0 defeat at home to Slawloth and Marino's goals. Really doesn't set us off to the best start as Barca manager. But you've got to keep faith. We've made no big signings yet. Still got all his money as youth players are growing. Take the positives if we can. If there even is any from that game. Because we're in the relegation zone. Barcelona, relegation zone. Uh, as wrong opponent, Clement. I don't know if you're going to stay at the club, mate. Ilias with a loan deal. Definitely want to get him out. Just on a normal loan though, please. As I know if I keep skipping, I'll get a lot more of them. And we have games tomorrow. We have Bilbao, Getafe, deadline day. Then Europa League football. Our group is Leverkusen, Motherwell and... I'm not going to pronounce that because I can't even see it. But thank you guys for watching episode number one of the Barcelona career mode. That is it for now. I mean, if you're new around here, like I said, we are striving for 5k subscribers. Please do consider clicking that red big button down below and following the links in the description if you want to see some of the social platforms as the TikTok, the Instagram, even the letterbox down there. So I appreciate everything you guys do for me. We do have a kit for this series, of course. Not just a hat. Still got the Hartlepool one. Memories right there. As I will see you all tomorrow, yes this is a daily thing, for the Barcelona rebuild. Take care, in a bit, and peace.